Hey guys, I'm going to be unboxing the Aorus Master RTX 3080. to this, the GeForce RTX 3080 Master by Aorus, which is an absolute minefield to try and get hold of one, but anyway, I've got one now anyway, so look at the packaging, a bit more chunky than your normal uh, graphics card packaging, it's quite big, quite robust, um, it tells you there you've got your four year warranty with Aorus if you register the graphics card to the uh, manufacturer's site, um, got some stuff about the RGB software lighting, which I've used before on the motherboards and it's absolutely rubbish, but what can you do? Um, it's got, like, tells you some stuff on the back about the screen that's on it. So it's got an LCD screen on the side of this graphics card. Tells you stuff like temperature and stuff like that. And you can put like GIFs on it. And you know, it's just extra stuff that's just ridiculous, really. You've got a huge cooler tells you about the cooler and stuff like that. So I'm just going to unbox it. One thing to bear in mind if you are carrying this from a store, don't trust this absolutely useless handle because I was carrying it and the, uh, <laughs> the secure uh, lock on the side went off and it just ripped off and then I nearly dropped my card. So <laughs> bear that in mind guys, useless uh, handle there. So I'm just gonna open it up here, so it's flipped up from the top. Um, I've already uh, kind of unsealed it, so uh, just have a look. So yeah, this bit just held on with some magnets. And then inside the box, you have a Oyoris kind of envelope, black envelope which tells you how to install a graphics card into your system, which uh, is pretty basic. But do you know what's interesting about this manual? It actually says, uh, remove the chassis uh, cover and locate the PCI Express Time 16 s or AGP slot. I mean, if you've got an AGP slot, I think you should be buying an RTX 3080. You should figure that one out. Anyway, there's your warranty card there. Four years warranty uh, that you need to register it and it tells you how to register it as well. So it's chucked it to the side. Um, foam padding, Ooh, foam padding that you get there. Um, you get this, uh, oh, that's what I'll just show you what that there. So there you go, that's the actual thing where it looks like it was in the box. Um, you get this Aorus badge, um, which looks cheap and tacky, but notice, it's got a film on top of it, and that's important because I'm going to tell you why. Um, and I'm going to take the bag out. That's all you get. You just get the manual, the badge, this, and then you've got an empty box. So there's nothing else. There's no GPU support bracket, which I think is a bit ridiculous. Goodbye. Come on. Why no GPU support bracket for a graphics card this big, considering people like the MSI do that? But anyway, you get it out of static bag. Uh, I'm going to open it up here. And pull out the card. It is huge. It's a massive card. This is they say it's a 3.75 slot uh, cooler. Um, that's why it's so bloody big. Um, I'm just going to put this down so I've got somewhere to put it onto. Um, so yeah, it is a very very big card and it's very heavy. So I'm very surprised that they don't offer. A GPU support bracket because you will probably need it if you uh, you, you are going to get GPU sagging with this thing, no doubt about it. Um, so why I mentioned the uh, film on that sticker because if you look at the graphics card, it has protective film on certain parts of it. So here you have protective film there that you can take off, which is great. You know, so it doesn't get scratched in transit from that anti-static bag rubbing against it. It's got protective film on these fans bits here. Yeah, which is great, you know. Anywhere that you'd normally expect to find protective film, you've got it. Um, but, it's even got it on this bit here, from what I can see. You can see the edge there, and it's got protective film on it. But where it doesn't have protective film, uh, which is just dumb and gigabyte, sort your shit out, because this is just stupid. Because I, and I have inspected this, and it's not just me, a few people have inspected it. But this is their LCD screen which tells you the GPU temperature and all that kind of stuff, has no protective film on it. And guess what? It comes scratched. Because that's flatly brown and it rubbed on it. So I've had two of these now. This is my second one. The first one was properly scratched. And that's pretty I've got a picture of it up now. And this one isn't as bad 
but it is still scratched. Now it's only noticeable under certain light, so when it's actually in your system, and it's obviously your system's darker, um, and then you've got the RGB trying to create, it might not be as bad, but you're paying serious money for this, and it shouldn't come like that, and it's just dumb when it could just be fixed with a bit of protective film in transit. So, something to have a look out for. Unfortunately, I can't take the back plate off and show you what the uh, uh, back of the GPU die looks like because to actually take this back plate off, you need to take the whole cooler off, which I don't really fancy doing to be honest because this is my personal card uh, and I'm going to run it air cooler, not going to water cool it. So it's a bit difficult. I can't, I, I can't see you know through in between and see what it's got, but I'm sure there'll be videos uh, or pictures of that coming up online on you know tech power up or whatever. But anyway, um, on the side here you have got a PCI Express drive cover and you've also got these nice protectors on here on the inputs, which is great. I mean, you know, they, they give you all these protective bits, but they don't put on the stupid LCD cover, so Gigabyte, what are you playing at? Just dumb. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a very nice looking card, other than that, it feels it's quite solid. There's lots of aluminum being used to, um, you know, it makes it feel sturdy and it looks baller, uh, I'm not going to lie. But I think they should have done a four slot bracket here just to give it a bit more, you know, security when it's actually in your case because you're already taking up four slots so you might as well have a big, you know, IO shield there to kind of fill it up. Um, you've got, this is the Aorus Master, so it's got the two eight pins there. I think the Aorus uh, Extreme version has three pins, which is a bit more roll clocking. You have got a little uh, switch here for BIOS, OC or silent, so you can flip between silent profile or the BIOS overclocking profile, which is a nice little touch, so you've got that, those two options there. And you know, that's about it really. Now I'm going to be throwing this in my system and you know, uh, to give you an idea and I'll, sh I'll put it in there and it can give you an idea of what it actually looks like when it's turned on. But uh, just for comparison's sake, I'm just going to get from my fridge, a can of coke, so you can kind of compare it to how big this thing is. It is an absolutely massive car, so you've got to make sure that your chassis is big enough to fit it in. I think it comes in at 317 mil, they said 320 mil pretty much, so it is a big car, so make sure your chassis is big enough to actually accommodate this thing. And bear in mind that it might sag. Now on my, I've got an Aora Z390 uh, motherboard with a reinforced uh, uh, PCI Express uh, slot, so that might help in you know opening it without it won't sag. But if it does, then you might have to buy a DP support bracket anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, put it in my system and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys. So this is the RTX 3080 Aorus Master installed in my system here. So this is the Spec Omega IGB. I've got the Aorus Z390 Master motherboard as well. Uh, no, not Master Ultra motherboard. Sorry. Um, um, so the uh, RGB uh, Fusion software that Aorus have, even though it's pretty crap. Um, it all <laughs> works together. One thing to note, if you want that LCD screen to work and be able to change what you want on it, like for example temperature control or have this weird Tamagotchi thing going on, um, then you will need to download the Aorus Engine uh, graphics card uh, uh, suite and then the RGB Fusion to get it to work properly. So that's something to bear in mind. But anyway, here it is. It is a huge sys huge card. Now luckily my uh, motherboard has actually got a reinforced metal uh, PCI Express slot. So looking at it here, you can see for yourself, it doesn't actually seem to be sagging a lot, the graphics card. It actually looks quite nice because it's quite straight. And I think it's like probably down to the uh, reinforced uh, PCB with the uh, metal black plate that they've got designed going on because it actually works quite well. It's very uh, rigid. Uh, but it's a very cool looking graphics card once it's in there with the uh, LCD screen. Generally, I have it on the temperature control mode, uh, which I can give you a close up uh, in a second. I just need to plug in my actual monitor uh, to get that to work. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, now, it, do, it is very quiet. It's got two modes. You've got the BIOS OC and you've got the uh, silent mode. And basically all the silent mode does is it keeps the fans off till about 64, 65 degrees and then they'll start spinning up. And then, you know, because it's getting quite hot when you're playing games. Um, whereas on the normal BIOS OC, they're kicking a lot earlier, probably around um, uh, 50, 55 degrees they'll, they'll kick in. So, um, you know, that's something to bear in mind. I keep it on the normal default, to be honest, 
because even when this fan is spinning a little bit, they're very quiet. You're more likely to hear your CPU fans or your case fans over the graphics card fans. That's something to bear in mind. Now, uh, I have seen a video of some, uh, I think he's South Korean, sorry if I'm mistaken, or Chinese, uh, um, guy who's done a teardown of this graphics card. Um, and it actually does have the four POSCAP designs of a POSCAP. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it does have, uh, not sorry, four, it's got six POSCAPs. It's not got any MLCC caps. Um, but to be honest, I've done some uh, overclocking on this card with the new NVIDIA driver. And um, that's supposed to be fixing those crashing issues and I've not had any problems. I've been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey on it, uh, maxed out, ultra, everything, uh, Battlefield 5. Um, I'm going to throw some benchmarks at the end of the video uh, that you can have a look. Um, and it's, it's been fine, it's not been crashing. Um, that's with the OC settings and the default settings. Now I keep it on default to be honest because I like to have it quieter than running hot on the overclock and then the fans get louder. So um, the, the default settings are fine, you know, because it's already overclocked. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Um, the LCD thing has got a nice touch with the GPU temp. Not 100% necessary, but it does look very cool. Um, and I love the RGB lighting on it as well. You can choose loads of different settings for the RGB lighting. Um, you know, through the RGB Fusion software. But the only problem is that RGB Fusion software, you need to have it on startup for it to work. So that's be one of your startup programs, unfortunately. But is the way it is. Um, but yeah, have a look at the Port Royal benchmarks. Now these benchmarks are with an overclock on it. So I managed to get stable at 120, 145 megahertz on the uh, extra on the clock and a thousand megahertz extra on the uh, memory clock, and it was stable, but. The fans got really loud, um, so um, I kind of down, uh, just kept a default for my everyday gaming. But this is the potential that this card has actually got, so it is quite uh, a powerful card in terms of that cooling there that you get there anyway. Um, the Tamagotchi things on the side, basically what that is, is, is a little uh, like a little Pokemon kind of thing that levels up the more hours you put on the graphics card. So the longer you play on your games, you know, it'll heart children or wings, we've got new abilities, you'll see little things happen on the screen. Uh, so it's a bit extra, but why why not? You're paying this kind of money for the graphic card. So so yeah, uh, been impressed with it so far. Uh, one thing I have noticed is it might not be related to graphics card or whatever, but when I did this upgrade from my cosmos to this um, in a previous video you can have a look at, uh, but basically I had 16 gig of RAM, so that's two a uh, two eight gig sticks. And I bought the identical kit um, to upgrade it to 32, and I was having loads of weird blue screens every now and then. Um, it was, uh, I thought it was a graphics card. I was playing games, sometimes it lasts 20 minutes, sometimes it lasts an hour, then it'll crash. Um, and I thought it was a card, but um, under further investigation, it turned out it was the memory. So I, I swapped out all the memory to uh, a quad channel kit, and I didn't have any more problems after that. So um, that's something to bear in mind. It might be that the RTX 3080 can be a bit sensitive to the memory. Um, but I went from like two identical kits to one just quad channel kit and it works fine. So memory can be a bit like that sometimes when you buy separate kits um, that weren't actually manufactured together. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this boxing and um, first look at this graphics card. There's not many videos out, this, out there about that. Uh, have a look at these benchmarks. And, and if you like the video, please uh, subscribe because it helps me out and uh, drop a comment if you want to know anything else uh, about the car. Cheers.